Hey, Pete Hendricks here, and today I have a, a razor that's, that I've really come to love, and it is the Gillette Single Ring. And I'll put up a couple of pictures so you can see it. Um, this, this razor is really historical. It's the um, the first, the very first razor that Gillette came out with in 1903 was the double ring. And this is covered with the same uh, patent and they didn't announce going from the double ring to the single ring and nobody knows for sure what, what happened. But the thought is that they had the double ring, they made sure that it worked and they removed one of the rings um, in order to be less expensive to uh, manufacture. So I love this. It, it, it says right here on the handle that it was patented on November 15th of 1904. You won't see it here, but I'll, I'll try and get a picture for you, which is the same date that's on the, the uh, original double ring. So such a piece of history here. Now, I, I posted in some uh, groups how much I like this razor, and a lot of people have um, commented, rather, that they didn't like it, that either they had to change their technique or it was too aggressive, and it is aggressive. And so I wanted to show you how I shave with it because I just find it to be a... So, first, let me show you how to load the blade into one of these single rings. Um, as you can see here, there's, it's a, a three-piece, different than modern three pieces. So I'm going to take the blade. And the reason I wanted to show you how to put the blade in is because when these razors were made, the blades were different. For one thing, the metal was a lot thicker, and the, the blades just had three holes in them. So I just um, set the blade on there. Then I set the, the handle on there, and I'm going to turn it, but I'm not going to turn it tightly. And with modern blades, this razor has a tendency for the blade not to seat correctly. And so um, the way to, to handle that is to put it in and don't tighten it all the way down, and then I've got to make sure to hold it in the camera so you all can see, and then just shake it end to end and I'm trying to watch the video while doing this and it might not look like it was end to end to you but it was and that will get it usually where it needs to be and so I'm just going to go ahead and tighten it down look to make sure that the blade is even and it is okay Okay, so um, I just showed you how to get the, the blade in there. So I have already done all my prep and everything. So I hope today is uh, Taylor of Old Bond Street um, almond, their, their uh, cream almond. So the key here is lightest of light touches. So you can see I'm not, you know, I'm not getting all the soap. So I truly, with this razor, am shaving the cream and letting the whiskers take care of themselves. Also, if you look carefully, you can still find these at a reasonable price. If you go on eBay, there will be a bunch of them for $150, but if you keep looking, you know, I think I got this one for $15 in the recent past. Lightest. I just love this razor. There's so much history with it. My technique on, on getting around the chin is to do diagonal strokes one way. And then the other way, and you, you do have to respect this razor. It, it's aggressive. It'll cut you. There is no doubt. You know, there's some great modern razors that are aggressive, but they're still smooth. This one's aggressive, and it'll cut the heck out of you. Okay. I've said a lot of times, um, 
the, I, I leave a strip on my lower neck. This is all men have more trouble with their lower neck. And so when I do my lower neck, I save that strip that's there that you can see. And I focus and try to get this with one pass. Okay, as careful as I was, I got a tiny little weeper over here. Not sure if you all will see it. But the, the key with a weeper is as soon as you see the blood, take the handy stick to pencil, wet the tip, and rub it. And if you catch it fast enough, then it will be as though that, that nick didn't happen. So what I was about to say is you may see the, the, the razor kind of grabbing the whiskers and you'll see rippling. That rippling is happening because the touch, I'm using such a light touch that it's, it's just grabbing the whiskers. I saved my uh, goatee area for last because the, the whiskers are thickest. You can probably see that rippling that I was talking about, which is because the touch is so light. So I just rinsed it, about to lather up for pass two. Um, and this, if you want a, you know, a close, comfortable shave, this is a, a three-pass razor. Just so, so much history. This is what really, you know, brought about the revolution from straight razors to safety razors. And it's a tiny little head, which I love, especially around the nose, because it, it's, it's easy to get in the nooks and crannies around the, your nose. Now, on my lower neck, I got that close enough on the, on the first pass, so I'm not going to shave any more there. As you may know, um, whiskers are super tough and skin is super fragile. And so you really want the, the razor touching the whiskers and not the skin. Um, when, the, when the razor blade touches skin, usually something bad is going to, it's not going to, it's not going to be good. Still, lightest of light, light, light touches. And you may, you may have noticed me doing some strokes in an area where there was no soap left. Um, you can't do that with all soaps, but this soap has some decent residual. So, on my upper lip, It's not wanting to quite go against the grain on the upper lip, so I'm just going to change the angle. And this, on this other side, it's letting me go against the grain. And when I say letting me go against the grain, that means going against the grain comfortably. If it's not, you know, if, it, if there's any kind of discomfort going against the grain, that's your warning right there. The last time I shaved with this razor, it was such a close shave, and it was a comfortable shave. It was so close, I couldn't shave the next day. There was, there was nothing to shave. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how to use the Gillette single ring and get a great, comfortable shave.